And then I proceeded to tell everyone. So it was a surprise for nobody. Nicola Coughlin reveals she couldn't keep her Bridgerton secret. The Bridgerton actress recently sat down with Seth Meyers on May 14th to discuss the moment she found out she was Lady Whistledown in the season one finale. And although her character Penelope Featherington is very good at keeping secrets throughout the hit Netflix series, Nicola admits she had some trouble. Yes, I found out in a super professional way. I found out on a Reddit fan forum. Okay. <laughs> because I, yeah. I Googled it. <laughs> Googled um, I Googled it. And then I arrived day one. I was like, I was like, this is amazing. Am I her? Like, is that me? Do I get to? And they were like, yeah, to you. And then I proceeded to tell everyone. So it was a surprise for nobody in yeah. the cast because I wouldn't stop talking about so, it. So yeah, it turns out you were terribly cast as someone who was Absolutely good at keeping a secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also I'm like, I, like technically I job share with Julie Andrews. Oh, you so, like, do how job do I, share. Right? <laughs> This season, she is finally stepping in to her own, as the love story between Penelope and Colin, played by Luke Newton, is thrust into the spotlight. It's a husband, is what you seek. Let me help you. Are we not friends? Friends. And of course, Nicola knows that Bridgerton is known for their steamy scenes, something the Dairy Girls alum says she fully embraced. Telling Stylist Magazine in a recent interview per People, I specifically ask for certain lines and moments to be included. There's one scene where I'm very naked on camera, and that was my idea, my choice. Adding, it just felt like the biggest f*** you to all the conversations surrounding my body. It was amazingly empowering. I felt beautiful in the moment, and I thought, when I'm 80, I want to look back on this and remember how f hot I looked. Plus, she had a perfect partner by her side, Luke Newton, both telling Ease Francesca Amaker in an interview that their chemistry during those moments came naturally. Interesting one, wasn't it? Because you, you'd think that filming a scene like that with someone who's your friend and has been your friend for like four years and we've got to like grow in these parts together um, would be like a daunting experience, but actually it was like a reassuring one. It felt like a real safe space to like totally. explore these scenes and find new and interesting ways. You know, the show is known for the steamy scene, so we wanted to really um, encapsulate the, the Colin and Penn sort of like love story and their humor and their, and, and all these different genres that, that, that their relationship sort of showcases, I guess. Yeah, I agree. It was, do you know, it was a wonderful, it was scary thinking about it, but then once mm. we got into it, we have an incredible intimacy coordinator called Lizzie Talbot, who worked on seasons one and two, and she gave us so much confidence in what we were doing, and I think a big part was ownership of it, and not feeling like, because, you know, people can sometimes think, is it like a dance routine that you're told to, like, kiss for three seconds and move your hand here for three seconds? It's, it's not like that. It's like, there's certain <laughs> things, points you want to hit along whatever you're doing, but it, it, we have, we could control how long things went mm. on for and we could kind of move with it. And also we've actually been dance partners for like five years. So we yeah. had a certain physical yeah, so comfort true. level with one yeah. another, which helps wow. immensely.